Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another hair and makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how I got this super cute, very blushed, very pink look with like these icy sparkly eyes. I was going out for a little evening of fun with friends and everything. It was my brother's birthday, so I decided to like do my hair, do my makeup. So I'm showing you guys how I got this look. If you want to see how I got it, just make sure to keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. So let's get into today's look. So the wig that I'm going to be installing today is from Wow African Hair Company. Shout out to you for sponsoring this video. They sent over this really, really beautiful unit that I'm super excited to install. It has HD lace. It's got these really, really gorgeous curls. And I believe that the wig is 20, 18 inches, if I'm not mistaken. But I will go ahead and leave all of the information for this unit down below in the description box. They are having a sale for Black Friday. So if you guys are interested, definitely make sure to check out their website for this unit as well as any other like lace wigs that you guys might be interested in. But yeah, this wig is definitely like super bomb. It blends it into the skin so, so well. And it came with a bunch of little goodies to help us create the most flawless install. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the hair info. Let's go ahead and get into like the install process. As always, it's pretty much the same as usual. I'm going to be doing the bald cap method using these stockings that I recently got from the beauty supply store. They're like in a sheer, kind of like an off-white type of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as like my, for my bald cap method, and then I'll go ahead and install the wig. I'm also using my favorite lace adhesive. You guys already know this one's from Ebon. It's their Supreme Hold lace adhesive. Comes in the black can. I made sure when I went to the beauty supply store the last time to get like the biggest bottle of this stuff because I literally go through it so fast. It's literally my favorite lace adhesive. I don't use any other one. It's water soluble, so it's super easy to take off at night. I love, you know, wearing my wigs throughout the day, but oh, I definitely need to take, take them off at night because I gotta, I gotta be able to like sleep peacefully, you know, without worrying about my wig getting messed up and stuff. Anyways, yeah, so I'm gonna be using that to do my bald cap method, and I'll also use this lace adhesive to install my wig. And to really make sure that this bald cap method is super, super flawless today, I also used my Ebon lace tint to tint the stocking, so that way it blends in better with my complexion. Once all of that is said and done, I'll go ahead and start getting this lace ready to be laid down. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and cut away like a little bit of the lace actually before before I install the wig. I've started doing this more recently and I actually like prefer like cutting away just a little bit, not all of the lace. I'll go back and like cut a little bit more off just to get it really, you know, close to my natural hairline. But I'll do like a little like pre-cut beforehand. So that way when I go ahead and install the wig, it just kind of like, is like easier to install. I don't know, I just find it like so much easier to install this way. Don't forget all of the information for this unit is gonna be down below in the description box. So if you have any questions, make sure to check there. And the coupon code for Wild African Hair Companies Black Friday sale is gonna be down below in the description box as well. So go ahead and check that out. And yeah, once I finish installing this unit, I'll be back to show you guys how I styled the hair. So this is pretty much what the wig is looking like now. The lace is all cut. I'm gonna go ahead and start styling my edges next. You guys know I love a little, little swoop swoop when it comes to these edges, you know, just a little, just a little one. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl them up using like my teeny tiny flat iron and I'm gonna trim them as well. And to really style them, I'm gonna use just the smallest amount of hairspray just to get them to lay in the right direction. I'll spray a little bit of that hairspray onto like my edge brush and just kind of brush that through. I'm 
also gonna be cutting this wig. It's gonna be super, super short. As soon as I saw these curls, I was like, oh yeah, we're definitely doing a shortcut. So once I'm done doing my edges, I'm gonna chop off all this hair. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, no, for real, I'm going to like create like a really short cut. So I'm gonna go in and just, you know, just do a little cut. I'm pretty much trying to cut it like, you know, a little bit above my chin. So yeah, that's kind of like the vibe I was going for, just like slightly above my chin. I'm not, I'm kind of just freehanding this. I'm not really like, you know, using any type of special techniques. So I definitely had to go back and like, you know, fix it all, make sure it looks good and stuff and it's even. Um, but yeah, definitely freehanded that. I'm also gonna be doing my signature side part. So I'm gonna go in with my hot comb and just make sure to press that down so that way the part lies flat as the whale. And then I'll just go in with a little bit of styling foam um, from ISO Plus just to get, make sure that the curls are like super popping. I ended up like going back in with like water and stuff and just like really like in my Denman brush and just like combing through the curls even more just to make sure they're like really, really defined like afterward. But it still came out with like the same like fluffy curly look. But yeah, I'm like super happy with the way that this hair came out. I think it's a so, so cute. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the hairstyle. Super simple, but still has like a little pop to it. Again, thank you so, so much to Wow African Hair Company for sending over this unit. It's so, so cute. The curls on this one are super soft and really, really pretty. Love, 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 and definitely gonna be wearing this wig again. So now that we are all done with the hair, let's go ahead and move into this makeup. So the vibe for today makeup was just super simple nothing too crazy i really just wanted to like go crazy with blush like i've been seeing a lot of the girls on instagram and like pinterest just like overloading on pink blush and it was like super inspiring so that's kind of like the vibe that i was going for but i definitely wanted to keep it like really simple it was my brother's birthday today so i didn't want to go like too crazy with the makeup and stuff so kept it really simple but still super cute i think like i love the way that this look came out it was super fun though we went to like an escape room i've never done that before it was so much fun like trying to figure that out my gosh <laughs> And then we just went out to dinner. Anyways, I went ahead and primed my skin using LH Cosmetics Mattifying Primer. And then for foundation, I'm using e.l.f. Makeup's Halo Glow Foundation mixed with Iconic London's Skin Tint. I've been loving this little combo together. It's so, so nice. The glow from the e.l.f. foundation and like the skin tint from Iconic London is just like a perfect mixture. So use that for my foundation. And then for concealer, I use Huda Beauty's Faux Filter faux filter luminous full coverage concealer i've been loving this one it's definitely a lot closer to my skin tone i've used to go like super bright with my concealer but i've been going with one that's like a little bit closer to my skin tone and i kind of here for it like it's so much easier to blend in i don't have to spend as much time like blending my concealer because it's already like you know so close to like my foundation shade so it's just like wham bam shabam and i'm done <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to be using that next and um, yeah, then I'll go in with my liquid blush. This is kind of like one of the stars of the show today, the liquid and powder blushes. The um, blush combo that I used for my liquid is from Rare Beauty. The hot pink one is called Lucky and then the lighter movie type of color is Encourage. I also went ahead and applied that blush onto the nose to kind of get that super blushed look that I was going for. Next, I'll go ahead and start setting everything with powder. I'm using my favorite right now. This one's from Huda Beauty. It's their Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in Sugar Cookie. I'll go in with like this powder again later on to bake, but right now I'm just doing a really thin layer of this to set the under eyes. Then I'll go in with a little bit of powder foundation. I'm using Huda Beauty's Glowish Powder Foundation in shades eight to set the rest of the face. And then I'll use a shade 11 as my bronzer. I don't know why, but I've been really loving like powder foundation as a bronzer. I feel like it just like blends into the skin so much better sometimes than like an actual bronzer not sure it could be my imagination but i don't know that's how i feel about it so yeah anyways mm -hmm. so um i'm gonna use that and then i'll go in to bake um like i mentioned earlier i'm using the same huda beauty easy bake loose setting powder this one's just in a different shade so i used a sugar cookie before and now i'm using shade blondie to bake so I'll go ahead and snatch the sides of the nose and also add a little bit of that onto the bridge of the nose. 
Then we have brows. I've been keeping it really simple with brows, but I've definitely been going for more of like a sculpted look. And I feel like my brow shape is definitely more arched these days. Before I was doing like a, a more straighter brow. Now I'm just kind of like wanting just like a slight arch, nothing too crazy. But um, yeah, every now and again, I just like have like different moods when it comes to my brows. And now I'm just like snatched and arched is like the vibe. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in shade Espresso and fill them in with that. Then I'll go in with my HD Skin palette from Makeup Forever and use like a mixture of like two different shades from that palette to sculpt the under part of the brow. And now I'm gonna go in with my powder blush. I definitely wanted to do that to reinforce the liquid blush that we applied earlier. So I'm using this little cute blush palette from Artist Couture and it's one of their Love Sprung palettes. It has like this really pretty pinky shade in there and I definitely wanted to use this one. So I'm gonna pop that on to the cheeks right on top of that liquid blush. I'm also gonna add it to the nose to kind of give like that blush look over there as well. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go crazy with it because I love blush. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> um, and then I'll go ahead and do my eyes. So the eyes I kept really simple. I definitely wanted to do like a little bit of something different, but nothing crazy. So I just kind of did like a little bit of sparkle and a really cute liner. So the sparkle eyeshadow that I used is from B Bella's I'm Snow Cute Shadow Palettes. And I use this super cute like bronzy gold shade and it's in the color Blizzard. I thought it would go perfectly with like this really cute like blush look that we've got going on, like some super cute icy eyes. So I added that shade uh, just on the lid space, like on the highest point of like the eyelid to create like that nice cute like highlighted effect. I also use that as my nose highlight, so I'm gonna place that onto the bridge and the tip of the nose. And then to highlight the inner corners of the eyes, I use the shade Santa's Favorite, which is like a really cute like beige, and just pop that on the inner corners with a little fluffy brush. And then I'll go ahead and do my liner. For liner, I'm using this gel one from this Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette in shade Purpose. It's just like a black like gel liner and but I actually really love this like I love the fact that the gel liner is kind of like in the palette I know that's kind of like you know not really all that fun for some people but I think it's really genius I'm actually super excited to use this palette like in a separate tutorial I definitely want to do like a really like smoky dramatic look with this palette I've been dying to like create a look with it um, but lately I've just been kind of like trying out like you know shades here and there just to kind of get a taste for it but so far i've been loving it it's a super super beautiful palette definitely going to be going back and like doing like a full tutorial for you guys using this particular palette because it's beautiful after i was done putting on mascara i went ahead and added my lash glue to my lashes i'm gonna let those sit for a little bit while i do my lip liner so the liner combo that i'm doing is from makeup forever it's their artist color pencil in shade limitless brown and i'm also using an lh cosmetics liner it's an, actually an eyeliner pencil but i've just been using it for like my lip looks because it's supposed to be like versatile so it's like a really cute like dark brown and i'm just gonna use that to do like some further contouring for the lips once my liner is done my lash glue is pretty much all good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and pop those babies on and then move back to the lips so for my lip combo i definitely wanted to keep it pink to kind of match with the blush that we've got going on so i went back in with that liquid blush from rare beauty in shade lucky just the hot pink one by itself and dab that onto the lips and yeah I'm gonna use that as like my lipstick for today and I definitely also wanted to go in with some gloss I thought like a cute like super glossy lip was definitely like the vibe so I went in with Kylie Cosmetics gloss strip lip gloss and I believe this one is in the shade Besitos which is like a cute little like pink shade it's very sheer but it has like a like a hot pink tint to it but this gloss is kind of amazing it's really thick so if you're like not into thick glosses definitely you're not gonna like this one but I like it because it just has like a whole lot of shine like it makes your lips look super super shiny so I'm in I'm in love with it 
Um, and then to finalize this look, I'm just gonna go in with my setting spray. I'm using Benefit's Pore Professional Super Setter Setting Spray. And that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's little cutes gets ready with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Sending lots of love, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.